Hello, thank you. Thank you for coming over. And uh, also, uh, please, great applause for uh, Christian Karembe for, uh, for uh, world champion and uh, the man who is uh, one man who is uh, behind the idea of, uh, of sponsor online and of uh, making the, the sponsorship of sports uh, transparent, easy and fair. So welcome Christian and thank you very much. Also thank you very much for uh, trusting in us and, uh, and uh, I hope that together we'll be able to create uh, a new digital era. So mostly what I will be talking is, uh, is the future of sports sponsorship, our vision of the fair, transparent and easy environment. I will be very quickly, so I know it's, uh, it's the afternoon, so I won't take much of your time. Uh, main issues, what's troubling us today in a, in a sports sponsorship? I know that you, it's the million dollars question, where to, where to get sponsors and how to, how to monetize the right assets. Uh, we know that there is a 14 billion of unrealized sponsorship value in 2018. This is mainly due to the obsolete technology, due to the lead times that are too long, due to the unsold assets that are sold on the last minute or undervalued. There is 180 plus days lead time for contracts over 250,000 euro. Imagine 180 days in 2019. It's, it's incredible. It's back and forth. It costs everyone money. It, uh, it costs time. Uh, it's not easy to present an inventory to the sponsor uh, so, uh, so the sponsor gets like fast reaction back. So I think we are still in the days where uh, booking of the hotel was 20 years ago when you had to go to the touring, touring operator or a travel agent and uh, you got your tickets, you got everything. So. Uh, there is also lack of efficient monitoring tools. There is many of the monitoring tools, and I know that some of you guys are from the companies that are monitoring. Uh, so by efficient, we mean the tools that can be integrated in the way of showing the, the most important data, because there is too much data on the market. Complicated access to the offers, it is from the brands. It's not easy for the brand, and we are talking to the hundreds of brands uh, for, for, for the last year, and uh, it's, uh, it's not easy to get evaluated two different clubs on the same metrics, because one club is offering you VIP package, the other one is offering you gold package, the other club wants to, wants to see the uh, main sponsor partner connected with some other asset. So uh, there is a lot of unsorted data, Yes, this is true. Uh, so both brands and sponsors are a bit lost in the, in the data, and we went through this. Uh, there is too many data and trying to do the ROI, especially we were in the Middle East, and uh, the ROI the federations are showing to the sponsors are based just on the guest. Uh, there is data of viewers, of everything, but deep data analytics of the real engagement from the fans is not, is not very easy today. Uh, though, I will just l speak very, very, very little of the sponsorship life cycle as we see it, as we uh, really think that there are six main parts of the, of the sponsorship. It's uh, attraction, Transaction, execution, activation, monitoring, and evaluation. So why there is two first are a typical, uh, typical parts of the marketplaces, attraction and transaction. You all know Airbnb. You everyone know Booking, Expedia, and uh, similar stuff that uh, gives the right offer attraction of the market and also does the transaction. Execution and activation. It is uh, mostly the part for the sports media uh, and marketing agencies because uh, it comes 
it comes with the, with the, with the, with the part of the life cycle, and the monitoring and evaluation is currently taken, or the market is currently uh, being taken by data-driven company, that they really can get you the data. But the data is very dangerous stuff because you can lost if you have too much of the data. So if I go through the attraction very, very quickly, it's about access to the market in the new digital way. Uh, the traditional way of doing the sponsorship, we understand it, we respect it, uh, we talk to a lot of the teams and a lot of the brands and they would like to close the deals in a new digital way, in a way that can be really efficient, that you don't need to travel 10 times and meeting 20 times, uh, that you really can see the offer as if you are just choosing the car or if you are choosing the, the hotel uh, for your next destination. Uh, transparency, this is of course a strong part, and we talk to a lot of clubs who in the beginning were worried to show us the, the real numbers of the, of the inventory assets, but the transparency is also leveling the market, yeah? Uh, we have the algorithm that is also showing the accurate pricing of the inventory. So uh, if we have a team from country X, Y, Z, and uh, they are asking too much or too low uh, for, the, for the inventory they upload, it mostly tells them that, guys, stop here, you shall ask between 250,000 or 1 million, just don't go over 1 million because you will never get attraction uh, from the, from the, from the uh, right partner. Uh, brands are comparing several offers at all time. This is something that not all the teams know that, uh, for example, Skoda receives more than 200 sponsorship requests every month. Yeah, of course, it's from amateurs, not only football, not only soccer. And these are in an unsorted way, so, uh, so brands are looking uh, for the tool when they can really, when, where they can really see the return over investment. That means compare, compare exactly that if I invest $500,000 into this company or into this football team, I'm sorry, I will get exactly this and this back. Will I sell more cars if I'm a car? car producer? Probably yes, but I need to see the engagement of the users. Uh, this is today, today's kings. I think the next decade will be about reach and engagement. This is all. I will just tell you very, 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 like from uh, small about where do we stand today. We, we try to measure human emotions. This is what all the data-driven companies, and I can see there are some of you here, are trying to do. We are trying to do deep sentiment analysis to understand the user on the social media, uh, the emotion of the user, uh, what is the, because there is a difference when you score the goal and when you receive the goal. It's very, it's not always good to be overseen as a brand if your team is losing and if the keywords on the social medias are negative. This is, uh, we know it, we know it very well and it can even damage the, the brand, the brand. So. Uh, we try to capture and evaluate and turn them into the assets. This is today. I think that tomorrow we'll be able to engineer emotions <coughs> by augmented reality, by all the technology that will be deployable in the next decade, and we will create those assets. So uh, we will be able to create the emotion of the fun in the way that he gets his experience positive, even, for example, if your team is not, uh, not winning, yeah? So, transaction is the second part. This is the maybe most important part of the marketplace because uh, you need to protect both parties with a valid legal frame. Uh, this is the problem of, for example, today's legal work of the contract, average contract of 150,000 euro the legal, the legal costs are between 4 to 8 percent, and it takes 30 to, 30 to 60 days. Yeah, normally we, I think it's 34 days we, 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 we have uh, from, from European teams. So uh, you need to be secured and targeted payments. That means that uh, some of the brands are looking, for example, that they will give you 
half million euro per season, let's say for a, for a t-shirt or for the, shirt, for the sleeve of the t-shirt, but they want to see the user's engagement. So it, will, it, it is changing from, the, from, from just being the, uh, let's say, this and this position in the league. You need to also show the brand that so much and much, so many uh, users came to their web page or did the purchase on their, on their uh, website, and then they released the payments. On the other side, you have the teams, because the collection, and this is the, this is the data that is really threatening, there is like 30% of uncollected, of uncollected uh, cash that uh, sponsor promise to pay, and it is uncollected. So uh, there will need be the systems that will be deployed, like escrowing, KPIs, and performance-based contracts, yeah? So this is so much about the transaction part. Of course, uh, I forgot one, it's audience and uh, behavioral bonuses, but this we mostly covered that uh, if, for example, your social media accounts of your players or in the mid-season you buy the player who creates you value of another one or two million dollars by posting your brand, it shall be uh, covered by the contract, yeah, because it is different if uh, some top player like Cristiano Carembe puts the Adidas, or <laughs> if, if I do it, if I do it, it, the value is like 20 euros, so maybe even less because no one will, will take care of that. But if you put Adidas or, or something like that, it's a uh, it's complete uh, different story. So there is a different evaluation. Execution and activation, this is mostly uh, where media companies and marketing companies are coming into, into the place. And this is the artwork, yeah, the creation of quality artwork, which there is more and more pressure of being creative. You can see the LED boards, uh, you can see all the augmented reality stuff. Uh, you are traveling all over the world, guys, so, uh, so you know the new stuff that is coming. It is the integration of marketing agencies, and uh, also the, the use of media houses, because of course you can buy on the marketplace uh, the sponsorship asset, but you also need a media house and the marketing agency that will buy you all the activation stuff. Yeah, This is extremely important because just buying the sponsorship doesn't do anything. This is what, what we are saying. And this is where I want to also say, because I can see some guys from the marketing agencies here that we as a sponsor online don't want to fight the agencies in the way that we want to try to steal their business or something because their business is mostly mostly in uh, in uh, in execution and activation and will be yeah doing the noise and getting the most out of the spending it's it's important you all guys seen so many contracts that has been in millions of dollars and you don't even know the brand because the brand forgot to buy the additional additional advertisement. And then there is monitoring. This is the very nice part. Uh, there is so many data today and there is no single overview of the performance, of the pitch performance of the, of the team. There are of the companies that are uh, processing data in a very good way. Yeah? I'm not saying that they are not making it in a very good way, but at the end, it is just a few datas that really matters to the club or to the brand. Yeah? So uh, let's try not over pollute. The deep insights versus the millions of numbers are very important because it's, it is much more important if someone tells you what the data means. What, what does it mean if 20,000 users came to your website right after the match and did the purchase. Uh, was it too much? Was it too low? What is the trend? What is the industry average? You know, uh, comparing to the to the competitive set. This is all that needs to be done instead of just getting the the data on transaction. A logo and object recognition. I think this is the tomorrow's king. Also, it's a uh, it's a part. Uh, today we are. Also, in our system, we, we, we have a, our own system that recognizes the logos. We are working on uh, object recognition because it, it is quite different if you have a Coca-Cola logo everywhere, but people are having the Pepsi-Cola t-shirt, yeah? So uh, at least you shall know it. 
and you have to understand also the object recognition. So this is where most money will be spent in the uh, next five years, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And sentiment, this is what, uh, what we said. It is the deep sentiment of the fans and of the potential customers. Because if you say the car maker is shown too much with the negative emotions, it does something in the back of your brain. Uh, I know that many people think that just being seen is good, but there are brands uh, who we are collaborating, and I can say it, it's, a, it's one, of the, one of the most, uh, I would say, advanced brand in a, in a deep sentiment analysis is Red Bull. These guys, they know, they know everything. They know what, uh, what the fan feels, what the, fans, what the fan thinks. Uh, why not show logo today? Why, 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 to show, why, why show logo tomorrow in these colors with, with this? And, and uh, I think the, they have their own media house that is worth uh, 1.5 billion euros. So, uh, so of course, they, they, they know it perfectly. But this will come into the market to also understand the emotions and deep emotions of your of your fund that uh, regularly comes to the behavioral analysis. That is the part where you need to understand the behaving of your potential customer from the brand. So uh, what will happen in the next years will that the brands, they will want to see, I wouldn't just call it ROI, I would say they, wouldn't, they would want to see the value that is created. Uh, by the team uh, and that value is of course at the end it's just the revenues for them so uh, measurable loyalty there are margins of errors of today of more than 50 percent where you really think that the fans are loyal or are loyal customers because they are in one brand they are not uh, not going to the other brand but uh, if you have like deep data uh, and you understand it uh, you can really measure also the loyalty. This is, uh, this is it. Evaluation is the last part. Uh, it is evidence-based results, mostly for the teams to show their sponsors, to show them the report. That look, guys, really look here. We, what, we, what we created to you, what we created for you, the value we created uh, is based on, uh, on the evidence that are data-driven uh, facts that cannot be, cannot be uh, faked. So efficiency of the sponsorship, this is also a thing that we see from our point of view, from the, from the, from the marketplace, that uh, the brands are looking for the efficiency. They, are, they, are, they, are, they want to spend smartly. We all know that there might be another, another downfall of the, of, the, of the economy, so I don't know if the spendings will go higher, uh, in football, most probably they will stay on the same, but the brands are going to spend more, more and more responsibly. So they will know the return over investment, and they will want to know what did they get during the during the uh, sponsorship time with the with the team. And uh, there will be new and new metrics. We developed our own metrics, by the way, uh, together with uh, with KPMG. Uh, that's most eff effectively can say the, the valuation of the, of, the, of the brand. The reuse of the cooperation is, of course, the, the positive valuation. And uh, coming back to the contract or finding the, finding the, the way to re-collaborate with the brand is, uh, is very, very good for, for, for every team. So at the very end is how do we want to contribute? Because uh, the idea with, uh, with Christian was to change the sponsorship into the fair, easy, single marketplace that covers more than just the crucial connections. Uh, we know that there is several of us even sitting here trying to create the, the, the marketplaces. And uh, it's, it's not just enough. You have to go beyond the, beyond the connection. You have to monitor uh, and manage the whole sponsorship of the life cycle that our platform uh, does. So uh, we really invite you just to try it, see it. We, we deploy new technology. We have our own logo recognition and 
deep learning algorithm that creates, helps to create the offer that attracts top brands in the world. Because right now in uh, Central Europe, we, are, uh, uh, we have a demand from the scar producer, I cannot tell its name, but we have a demand because they are launching a new model in November. So we have a demand of uh, getting 400,000 users of engagement uh, to the website through the, uh, through the teams and uh, they don't want to see one single team. They want to sponsor and they want to do the contract on the media with, uh, with several teams from, I think it's Poland, Hungary, Czech Republic, Slovenia. So it's uh, it's really it's really interesting how the t how also the brands are are looking to 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 find the right customer everywhere. Yeah. So it's uh, it's it's, uh, it's very 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 interesting. And the time of the changing and market shifts are are here. So uh, what we want to do is we want to create one transparent and easy environment to use that will really you can just get in. Uh, upload your sponsorship inventory or check the market for potential and just buy it, uh, monitor it, evaluate it. And uh, this is why we, why we spend so much, so much time and so much technology. And uh, we are already trusted by 150 uh, European clubs. We have 50, we have more than 50 because uh, this was done like uh, four weeks ago. So we have uh, around 60 something uh, top Brands, we are just focusing on the Europe right now, but we want to focus on uh, on a global market. So uh, we believe that any spare sponsorship inventory, even the digital assets that can be uploaded, can be sold. Uh, we are not looking for the quick wins. That we are not saying that you guys from the clubs, uh, who I can see, uh, we are not saying that we are going to sell your uh, inventory tomorrow, but we can tell you what to do to sell it day after tomorrow if it won't be sold tomorrow. Yes, yeah? so, uh, so this is exactly, we can give you the deep data uh, and we are collaborating with, 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 with many, many partners that gives us uh, these deep, deep, deep data uh, that can be used for you. So uh, I know there are some non-believers, even uh, always are. Uh, so we always also will deploy at the end of the October, we will deploy the simulation mode uh, which will be fully AI simulated mode. So you can just create your username. You can see how the logic flows, uh, how, the, how the communication goes, uh, how the deals are produced. And uh, once you are ready, either if you are a team or if you are a brand, once you are ready, you just push the button, you want to go live. This was a great idea by Christian himself. So we need one more large applause for him for being here. And this is it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks.